general advice would you give to students? Oh, before I get into that, is there anything else you think students should know about the Bournemouth area? Um, I think, I think it's kind of important in Bournemouth to know your neighborhoods. Um, like, it, there are some neighborhoods that are not the safest place. So that, I think it, it's kind of important to know which areas is safe for you to live and which areas you kind of should kind of avoid. Okay. Like, I, I don't think it's the end of the world if you always go out in a group and then come back. But mm -hmm. if you're planning on working late shifts and you're coming back late at night on your own, I wouldn't live in some of the areas. So I would say kind of do your research when you're deciding on the places you want to live in and kind of think about, are you going to be working alongside uni? When are you going to be working? Do Are you going to have lectures that finish really late? Are you going to be walking home alone in the dark? So I think that's stuff students might not think about. And mm -hmm. I think it's important that they do. Um, because, we, yeah. I was going to say, sorry, what could you give example in any of these places for a warning for students, which you think you may not like to live as much as other, over other places? I think one of the places uh, that you should avoid is Boscombe. Okay. It's actually a bit hard because when you look at a lot of accommodation, it's very cheap in Boscombe. So I think a lot of people ended up going for this area and then they realize that it, it's, it, it, it's cheap it's for a reason. The best place to live in. Like, I, I don't want to be mean, but it really isn't. Like, now the center, um, like there is a lot of people around in the center. So you kind of feel safe when there are people around. And mm. let's say like you need to search for help. There is always somebody there to ask for help Help from, if mm. that makes sense. Um, Winton area is quite nice. A lot of students live with this, uh, within this area and it's 15 minutes walk from uni. So that's really nice. Where we lived in second year was up in Ainsbury Park, um, which is above the uni. Now it was really calm. It's probably one of the safest place to live. However, there is nothing going on. There is not even a local pub. Okay. You need to go either to the bar in uni or to the town center with the bus if you don't want to be bored. So kind of know, know this. Um, I think that's about it. If you can live in the center, live in the center. The center is beautiful. Okay. What general advice would you give students about the study at university? About the study or the university in general? So about to study at university. So it's just any university, a student's advice to study at any university. What advice would you give to them? I would say don't just get stuck in your course. Uh, explore what else you can do. Make the absolute best out of it. Like join the communities, do volunteering, look at sport bio opportunities, like the sporting stuff. There is so much more that you can do if you open your eyes to it. And I would say, make the most out of the three or four years you have in uni. What advice would you give to students about to start wanting to study at Bournemouth University? I would say it was, it's definitely one of the best choices for a bachelor degree. And I, 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 I do not regret anything from my university experience. And if I had the choice, I'll definitely go for it again. So I'll say, of course, it's important that it's the best uni for what you want to study. But what you want to study is offered in the uni. Yeah, I would say go for it. And finally, what advice would you give the students about to study your course? Studying my course. Um, my course uh, has now, I think, non-existing, unfortunately. Okay. They've changed all of the sports courses. So, um, yeah, they kind of predict and march over the sports course. I think there is a similar one to mine. So what I would say is that the management course is very popular. When my year started, we were 150 students starting in. So you can imagine that within the first lecture, people go into groups. And the advice that I would say be, by, by, be this one person that says, can we no, not separate into groups? Can we all be together and kind of do the effort to meet as many people as you want? Hey, you ch 